Lacuz in her house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Norwich, England, Paige. Paige has carved her own path, blazed her own trail, answered to nobody that she didn't want to. Paige is truly a revolutionary in WWE. Guys, remember on Raw a few years ago when Paige made her WWE debut and won the Women's Championship? A truly unforgettable night, not only for Paige, but the entire WWE Universe. Paige has revolutionized the game since that very night. And it was that night where we began the transformation from the Divas Revolution to the Women's Evolution. And her opponents, first, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment, Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Yeah, the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. The irresistible force! From San Diego, California, Maya Jack. One of the most dominant women in WWE history. Physically unparalleled in the women's division, Nia Jax has imposed her will on everyone that stepped in the ring as opposition. An incredible pedigree for success for Nia Jax. Here we go as this triple threat match gets underway. A lot of times, the smart move in a match like this is to sit back in the weeds. Let the other two superstars tear each other apart. Let's see if we get any of that here tonight. Hooked up. Delivering the shin breaker. Russian leg sweep. Oh, look at this. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. Hooked up. Oh, a shin breaker. Try walking after that one. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum back there. The cover, back between the ropes. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Oh, straight forearm. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, crushing the knee here. Oh, shit breaker. What impact! Natalia now in a little bit of trouble. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. Oh, Not surprising, Cole. When you're in the ring with two of the best women on the roster, you're gonna take a few lumps. That's just the way it is. But it's still early here. Going for it all here. Jeez. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. Gotta be careful this doesn't turn into a two-on-one assault. Yeah, but I wouldn't count her out yet. 
any one of these three women can win this match. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. Nia Jax, the irresistible forces in action here. As her name implies, she's a tough competitor to overcome. Any ideas of how an opponent can prepare for Nia? I'd say it's nearly impossible to take down Nia, but the few times Jax has lost has been, look out, look out, this could be it! She better do something fast. Going back, and she breaks free! I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Showing some quickness there. Knee drops! That was nasty. So precise. Hooked up. Delivering the shin breaker. Dodges that one. The superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. Circumstances create interesting alliances, and the numbers game can become your worst enemy in a hurry when you're competing against two other opponents. No matter how you look at it, it's a situation you don't want to be in, but you must prepare for it. Back body draw! Oh, you see the height on that? A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. No one thought that Ziggler and Styles would work together to perform a double dive off the barricade that put Corbin through the Spanish announce table. And that's exactly what a superstar always needs to have in the back of their mind. That at some point, their two opponents will most likely... She might have it. Oh, 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 oh what a leg drop. Oh, makes my stomach hurt. She has got to take advantage here. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett. Hitman Hart is perfectly... Natalia going for the submission. Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. She can close the door here. Oh, man, Nia Jax doesn't even know where she is. Alludes that one. Natalia has certainly learned this business from some of the best. When the Queen of Hearts takes that first step and turns over her opponent, the sharpshooter's locked in, which means it's all over for Natalia's adversary. The sharpshooter is one of the most famous finishing maneuvers in sports entertainment. All it takes is seeing Natalia slap the submission on an opponent to see why. What a stomp! Good grief! Quick thinking by Nia Jax. Some superstars who've competed in a triple threat match feel it's a good idea to have both a finishing move that brings you to a pinfall attempt on your opponent and a submission move that can make your opponent tap out. Given the chaotic and unpredictable nature of a triple threat, that sounds like a good plan to me. Byron, before you mention the strategy, some superstars have implemented for competing in a triple threat match, and that includes having a finishing maneuver to put someone away for the one, two, three. Can she keep her down? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. We're looking at complete domination here. Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. That's it. She goes for the cover. Two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Wow, that's pure power, guys. Oh, continuing to punish them. This might be it. Oh my. Oh no. Byron, she has no idea where she is right now. And I assure you, the top of that turnbuckle is not where you want to be when you're in this kind of condition. Down with the Samoan drop. Here's her chance. She goes for the cover. Oh, a kick out. So resourceful. Natalia says, not this time. Look out. There she goes. And she's knocked off her feet. 
I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. Uh-oh. The Rampage! Wow, what a move by Paige. One, two, three! Paige wins! Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here. Here is your winner, Paige! Now that's eking out a win. That's the kind of action you expect here in the WWE when you put three rabid competitors in the ring at the same time. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.